Mario, funny enough, just mentioned the steel industry because that very much in the news again today. A group of Welsh MPs has written to the Chancellor asking for extra help. Uh, they say demand for steel has dropped 80% because of the economic halt brought about by coronavirus. Uh, you don't mean, need me to tell you, the industry, really, really big employer in Wales, thousands of workers at the Tata plant uh, in Port Talbot alone. Stephen Kinnock is the Labour MP for Aberavon. Uh, the plant is in his constituency. Good afternoon, Mr Kinnock. Look, uh, we were talking Hello. to the CBI earlier. I'm just wondering, is it possible to put a time scale on this? If there's no intervention from government, how long can, can the steel industry keep going? Well, I think we're talking about a matter of weeks uh, because this is a cash flow crisis. And if you can't keep the cash uh, coming through, you have a number of um, creditors that you have to settle and there's a real risk uh, of a company becoming insolvent. So uh, this needs to happen uh, very rapidly indeed. And, and it is clear, as we say in our letter, that what has to happen is that the large business uh, loan scheme, uh, the cap of £50 million is an arbitrary cap. Instead, the loan should be based on the turnover of the company. And I think with one uh, stroke of the pen, I know these things aren't easy and I know the government's trying its best uh, to support business. But with that stroke of the pen, you could then lift uh, the uh, loan cap and provide Tata Steel with uh, the tiding over loan that's required. Let's remember, this is not a grant. It's not taxpayers' money in the long term. Tata Steel will be legally obliged to pay the money back. They just need to ride out this storm. It, it's, a, it's a real dilemma, isn't it? Because it's not so much here getting people back to work in steelworks. It's the fact that the customers for that steel that's produced has dried up. It needs almost another step beyond there of consumer confidence returning so people will, will buy the products to make the products they're making. Yes, the loan that Tata Steel is looking for is just to tide them over what they calculate to be a six-month period uh, until business starts to get back to usual and until demand starts to pick up and the markets start to correct themselves and they can once again get the cash going through the system from their customers and, and pay back the loan. So uh, you're right, this is, a, this is a temporary measure to ride out the storm uh, until such time as uh, business is back to uh, its normal rate. It's a difficult balance to strike, isn't it? On the one hand, uh, you've got the, the lives of people, a horrible disease that has claimed so many lives just in the UK already. On the other hand, getting the economy moving again. Now, we're expecting next week, aren't we, to, uh, to see a plan from the UK government, from the Welsh government, uh, about the next steps to do that. Specifically, what do you hope to see in that that will perhaps be of some benefit to the steel industry? Well, the absolutely key issue is the liquidity of the steel industry. And what I think that needs to be seen in, a, in the bigger picture, which is there can be no post-pandemic economic recovery for our country without a strong and healthy steel industry. It's the backbone of our manufacturing sector, from the cars we drive, the offices we work in, uh, the, the, our military and industrial complex, the, the, uh, the infrastructure projects. None of this can happen without steel. So if we want the economy to recover, steel has got to be at the heart of that. And I do think the government also needs to recognise that one of the reasons the steel industry is in such a difficult position is because there's been a complete failure over the last 10 years of government support to the steel industry. Energy costs twice as much as, we, as they pay in Germany and France. No procurement strategy. So you have Royal Navy frigates being built with Swedish steel, uh, business rates which punish investment in, in new plant and machinery. So the government does also need to recognise that because of the failures of policy over the last 10 years, that's one of the reasons that the, the steel industry is in trouble. This is an opportunity for the government to step up, do the right thing and make sure that we put steel at the heart of our post-pandemic recovery. Hey, thanks for your time. That's Stephen Kinnock, uh, the Labour MP for Aberavon.